in the building, Jimmy Wilson, motivation's coming, I can feel it, first thing that you need to do, is crush the day before it crushes you. Excuses always sound best to the person who's making them up. Think back in a time in your life when you were working with someone or someone you loved, you had an expectation of what they were going to get done for you, right? Maybe you went and asked someone to help you with a project or, you know, you had a family member that you had, you know, relied on for something and then they came at you with an excuse. And, you know, maybe the first time you're like, okay, I understand, like you're, you're trying to be giving and empathetic to these situations. But what starts to happen is the folks who make excuses, the people who always come up with a reason for why they were unable to achieve their goal, those excuses always make sense to them. They've rationalized it. They've found ways to use that excuse as a reason to not do the work. Maybe that person is you. Maybe you know what you need to be doing. You have a very clear understanding of the steps that it's going to take to get to that next destination in your life, whether it's in your fitness or in your business or your relationships at home. You know what you're supposed to be doing. But the moment you start letting those excuses in, you start to rationalize them. You start to use them as a crutch. And you don't need a crutch. You're put here on this earth to walk in your greatness, to become the most elite version of yourself. But as soon as you start letting those excuses run free and you start using them as a reason not to do the work that you know needs to be done, you're gonna start thinking, that doesn't sound bad. I think that's a good enough reason not to do this. And that's gonna destroy you. That will absolutely ruin any momentum that you had moving towards your goal. Because excuses always sound best to the person who's making them up. There's always a way to rationalize, to say that, okay, now I make sense of this. But if what you're rationalizing in your head is a reason not to do the work that you know you need to do, where is that going to put you in life? Is that going to put you closer to your goals? Or is that going to take you 10 steps back? Because the more you move back, it actually exponentially increases the amount of time it's going to take to get to your goal because now in your own mind you're giving yourself reasons to why you can't do the work and every time you add another little chink in that armor that badass mindset that you've created you're weakening the whole thing so really stop making excuses right now Whatever it is you've been telling yourself that you've been rationalizing as a reason why you can't do the work that you know you need to do and are fully capable of doing, they always sound best to you and to the person who are making them up. So stop making excuses. Stop rationalizing. You were put here to be great. You were put on this earth to walk in that greatness. Stop making excuses about why you can't keep moving forward. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to go back and check out all the previous episodes. Make sure you subscribe and share this podcast with other like-minded, success-driven individuals who want to crush it. Check the show notes and grab your Crush of the Day swag over at crushingtheday.com. And remember, crush the day before it crushes you. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you.